Cowboys put away the Dolphins on Sunday or have a Chiefs loss to the Chargers. It would really be a much needed break for a squad riddled with injuries. Now, should this happen, in the divisional round, the Patriots face the highest winning seed of the wild card round. Gentlemen, are the Patriots a lock to make the AFC Championship game? Yeah, I think they will make the AFC Championship game. I don't know if necessarily they're going to be the AFC representative again in the Super Bowl because I think this year that's going to come down to look. I, I'm, look you my never my preseason my, pre pre look, my preseason pick was the Kansas City Chiefs, and I do believe that they're rounding into form now in totality as far as the defense really playing much better. I think the Chiefs will make it to the Super Bowl in the AFC, and they will tussle with the Baltimore Ravens, you know, in order to get there. But I will say this. Never count out the Patriots because if they can get a bye and they can only have to play two games to get to the Super Bowl, you know that that's right up their alley. You know that they will call upon their championship pedigree and the things that always travel out to at this time of year. And that is defense in the running game. And that is starting to get going with them. And Tom has heard some of the doubters. He's heard a lot of the doubters. He's heard a lot of the critics. He's heard the guy that sits in that chair right there <laughs> telling him he's falling off a cliff all the time. And he looked very good last week. The running game looks like it's starting to pick up, and the defense is always going to be there. And they play the team game. They play the long game better than anybody in the NFL. They're going to wait you out for three and a half hours. And they're going to win the game, and you're going to wind up losing the game because they don't lose games, so to speak. They allow you to lose games by making mistakes because they're one of the most mentally disciplined teams in the NFL. So they're always going to be in contention. I just think this year there's just too many other high-powered teams in the AFC. Yeah, Lewis, you're older than me, and they say with age comes wisdom. So I'm going to assume you know something I don't because I don't know how you think the Patriots are going to find a way to beat two teams that they've lost to. More than likely, they're either going to have to see the Chiefs mm -hmm. round one or they're going to have to see the Texans round one. Well, let's remember, the Texans were up 28-15 to 15 with about three minutes left to go. The game ended 28-22. to 22. The Chiefs beat the Patriots just three weeks ago. To Lewis's point, I don't know if the Chiefs are rounding into form. I think they're in form. I mean, Patrick Mahomes, the last four games, he hasn't thrown for 300 yards, but they're still winning games by an average margin of victory, 20 points a game. Their defense the last four games only allowing Charlie seven points a game, 7.7 points a game, that is. So this just isn't the time, and you can never bet against Tom Brady. I get that. Tom Brady, the GOAT, Bill Belichick, the mastermind of all masterminds. But with the Chiefs playing as good as they are right now, with the Texans team who's no longer scared of the Patriots because they've already beat the Patriots, led by Deshaun Watson, who's the gutsiest quarterback probably in the National Football League, I just can't sit here and say the Patriots are going to make it because the Patriots have always made it. But the Patriots in the postseason are different than the Patriots yeah. in the regular season. History has shown yeah. us that. Look, we, we, we know that pressure actually is a real tangible thing once you get to this time of year. True. And I don't care what the Texans have done to the Patriots in the regular season this year. Don't matter to me. When they get into this arena, this is a whole different it's, – it's a whole different thing. And if you played in the playoffs, I can just tell you this. It really is a real tangible difference as far as the intensity of the game. Guys who you've played against before in the past, you're like, I don't remember you being that fast. I don't remember you being <laughs> what? that strong. What's going on here? You know what, you're, playing, you're playing for money. You're playing for pride. You're playing for a lot of things that really can – kind of like enhance your legacy and how people look at you. And the Patriots know that better than anyone. So that's why at this time of year, forget all the weaknesses you think that you know about the Patriots. They're going to be a tough out. And they're, they're the, the look, I mean, th this is a championship, championship organization. Don't ever count them out. I just think there's too many other teams right now that are younger, that maybe be even hungrier, and really just have better personnel that ultimately is going to win out. Uh, you can't count the Patriots out, obviously, as long as number 12 is back there and as long as Belichick is in his cutoff hoodie with the hood on on the sidelines. <laughs> you, you can't count the Patriots out. But what you can do is look at the facts. You can look at the numbers. Charlie, the last two games, the Patriots' leading receiver is a running back. Their leading receiver, the receiver whose sole possession is to be on the field to catch the ball, the guy who does that best is a guy whose job description is to run the ball. So as long as Julian Edelman isn't healthy, as long as they still have some pieces banged up, I just don't know that you can count on that maligned Patriots but team. Don't – and look, don't, don't – Take this the wrong way as far as me ever, you know, being negative on a guy like John Harbaugh or Andy Reid as far as coaches are concerned. Because those two are two guys I know personally and who I believe are two of the great coaches that this game has ever seen. But what have we said makes the difference at this time of year? Why are we giving the Philadelphia Eagles the benefit of the doubt over Coach? the Cowboys? Yeah. Although many people would say, well, that's not a high bar, you know, as far as trying to beat the Dallas Cowboys and their coaching staff. But Bill Belichick is maybe the greatest coach of all time. Period. Don't really need to say anything more. But can, and that can be the difference and oftentimes has been the difference at this but time. But can Belichick catch a pass? 
Can Belichick run up? Because that's right now what the Patriots lo are desperately longing for is somebody who can go over the middle and catch it. Nikhil Harry, they need him to show up. Edelman, dealing with the dealing with the knee, dealing with the shoulder. Like, they, the Patriots, their issue has never been coaching. Their issue hasn't been the defense because, to me, their defense is lights out. Best defense in the National Football League. But playing defensively in the National Football League, here's what we do know, Lewis. Eventually, eventually you break. Right? It's like you, you bend, you bend, you bend, but eventually that's, you hear that punt team alert but you just know what? a little too that's fast. That's exactly why they need to go ahead and get a first-round bye exactly. and only have to play two games. So they don't have to call upon that kind of performance too many times. If you say we only have to do it twice to get to the Super Bowl as opposed to three times, that's much different. And I think they have enough in them to go ahead and get that done. It, you know, possibly. Although, again, like I'm saying, I'm not going to back off on my Chiefs making it to the Super Bowl. <laughs> well, not my Chiefs. But I think they'll be the AFC representative. Well, a debate that a lot of people are having is who would the Ravens rather face? Would it be the Chiefs or the Patriots? Uh, to me, it's easy. Ravens much rather face the Patriots because to yeah. the Chiefs right now, they're hot. Lewis, you know this. When you start to get to the playoffs, it's not who's the better team over the 16 weeks of the season or 17 weeks of the season you have a bye. It's who is the better team at that time. And right now, I think the Chiefs might actually be the best team in football right now. Again, the only game the Chiefs have lost since Mahomes came back was the first game he came back in, in which he threw for three touchdown passes, in which he threw for plus 300 yards. So the Chiefs is not a team you want to see. What's been the Chiefs' weakness in the last two years? Their defense. Well, the last four games... Their defense is probably the best in the National Football League. That's not a team that the Ravens want to see. Yeah, look, it's they're, they're playing real good situational defense in particular in the red zone where they are a top five team in that area. The addition of Terrell Suggs is going to be huge for them. Why? Because I've already been told down there he's having a tangible effect on the young players who are looking at him as a guy who is a tone setter as far as just being a pro. People look at a guy who's played in the NFL for 17 years as a pass rusher and they go, we want to have a little bit of what you've had as far as that longevity. Show us the way. And that is something that is raising the performance of everyone down there. Offensively, there's no doubt. No one, when the Chiefs are hitting on all, on all cylinders, no one can match the firepower of that football team. Nobody. And they're getting healthy. So there's no question about it. I think that team in particular is poised to be able to match up with anyone in the AFC and anyone in the NFL overall because of the fact that they're healthy. They had the right mindset right now. And when we're talking about coaching, Andy Reid gets a bum rap many times for some of his situational handling of things that come up. I think they're ready to go. I think they're primed to make a run the this key, year. The key to all of this is the rematch games. How are people going to adjust in the rematch games? Because like we said, the Texans have seen the Patriots. The Chiefs have seen the Ravens. Yeah. Everybody, for the most part, has seen everybody. So now, how good is Lamar Jackson going to be the second time around? Will he be better? Because if Lamar Jackson's even better, now you're in trouble. But the second time around, Charlie, to give it the football context, okay, now you've had another week to prepare for this monster Ravens attack. Are you better? Are the linebackers a little faster to their keys? Are the defensive backs a little better that second time around? So all of this is going to come down to the second, the rematch games, the revenge games. How will teams adjust? There you have it. All right, there you have it. But then you know, when it's all said and done, who do you think is coming out of the AFC? Well, hey. I'm going to say it for the third time. The Chiefs. They're okay. coming. And, I, and I'll tell you what. No, you know what? Chiefs. No, I, I really do believe this because, look, what they needed was – their defense doesn't have to be a top 10 defense. It doesn't have to be a top 10 scoring defense. It doesn't have to be a shutdown defense. But what it needs to be is this. It needs to be good situationally. It needs to be able to get off the field on third down and hold people to field goals in the red zone. And they can do that now. The offense is going to be there. They're going to be able to score 28 points a game. Maybe 35 if they need to. They will be able to put up enough points. As long as you get the ball in Pat Mahomes' hands last, they will always be in it. And I think this is just the time of year where now they revamped the defensive side of the ball. Coaching staff-wise, Andy Reid has basically seen it all. There's really nothing that he hasn't accomplished other than winning a Super Bowl. Yeah. And I think this is just their year, and they're healthy, and they're on the upswing We'll see what happens. What do you Chiefs, think? Ravens are in the championship game for the sake of diversity, for the sake of difference. I'm going to say the Ravens are going to win it. All right, we go. like diversity here. <laughs> That's all right. right. Doing this morning. Doing great. Doing, doing great. great. A full two hours yes. of debating. Stephen A., you know what? No, you are in the Stephen A. seat. Yeah, I'm not going to be like you, though. So bring your uh -oh. Stephen A. energy. You, you better be looking forward to I, I, a tweet you know, from him. You know, you know, you know it's watching. coming. <laughs> you know he's watching, sitting there like, mm-hmm. Yeah, I know he is. It's good, though. Let's do it. All right, well, I'm glad we have you here because we have a lot of football to get into. And actually... We have some breaking news that we're going to get 
off to uh, right at the top of the show right here on First Take. Now, we have some news that is coming in from Adam Schefter. Sources are telling him that this morning, AB 